Welcome to the GP Lama YouTube channel and today just a quick video to cover off the details of a new firmware that has just landed for the Wahoo Kicker Core version 2 Smart Trainer. Now this feature was detailed at release time but wasn't present when the Core 2 started shipping. With the latest firmware version 254 or 354 depending on which region you're in, you'll now have the ability to bridge the Zwift Click version 2 controllers or the Zwift Ride controllers to the Core 2 and have those controllers relayed over a Wi-Fi connection. Now this is in addition to the heart rate bridge which has been a feature since the Core 2 launched. I also believe there's been some underlying tweaks to that too. So why is this needed? Well, mostly for Apple TV users who have limited Bluetooth connection slots for accessories, which becomes a problem when trying to connect even more and more accessories, such as virtual shifters, heart rate monitors, and maybe steering blocks. And also for anybody who's having trouble with direct Bluetooth connections to their PC, Mac, or Android device. Pairing everything direct to the trainer then through Wi-Fi is typically going to be a better experience. Now here's the interesting part for this Zwift pairing. The bridging is dynamic, so there's no need to open the Wahoo app and pre-configure the link between the Core 2 and your controllers or heart rate monitor. Once your devices are powered up, then you just open the pairing screen on Zwift and the sensors the Core 2 can bridge to are shown with this icon here. Now I think that icon represents a trainer with a little sensor piggybacking to it or something like that. You pair to those to bridge your sensors and you're done. Now, if you're using Apple TV and connecting via Wi-Fi and to your sensors bridged via Wi-Fi, you'll still have both Bluetooth slots open to pair other sensors to direct, maybe a separate steering block or other heart rate monitor or temperature sensor. And finally, onto some other important details, this dynamic pairing is for Zwift only. If you're using another platform, then you'll need to open the Wahoo app, pre-configure the heart rate pairing to the Core 2, and then pair to that. Now this requires Ant Plus or an open Bluetooth heart rate sensor, so something like the Garmin Secure heart rate sensors need to be in open mode for this to work. And again, the supported Zwift controllers are only the Zwift Click version 2 and the Zwift Ride. The Click version 1 and Play controllers are not supported. If you're on Apple TV and you have those, you can still use the companion app to pair those and get around those connection limits. Okay, so there's a quick wrap of the new firmware landing on the Kicker Core today, adding just a little bit more quality of life to the feature set for our indoor cycling. As always, if you found this informative, thumbs up, subscribe, do all the things, and we'll see you soon.